we're gonna do a zucchini, or just call it a raw vegetable carpaccio. Mostly squashes, but we got some turnips and radishes in there. Well, we got a sweet onion here, and we're gonna go pretty fine on these guys here. It's a real small, plus we're gonna macerate this with a little bit of salt, pepper, and olive oil. A third of a cup of raw sweet onion. Then we're gonna work on our carrots. These are right here from the farm. They're so sweet and delicious. We're just gonna julienne these guys really quick. Not too quick, so you cut your fingers off your body. Eat these guys. Oh, so good. It's just a carrot, you just tell yourself. It's not just a carrot, though. It's a cosmic carrot. And just get a little blast on them. Now we're gonna do, I got a little piece of celery. Make little strips, like so. And chop these guys up too. It's a Meyer lemon, olive oil. It's delicious. Ooh, look at that. It's a little fluor to sell. And while we're screwing around with all the other vegetables here, this stuff is gonna have time just to soften it's gonna pull a lot of the water out of it and it's gonna mix with the oil and it's gonna be almost like a sauce on the top of this. These English peas, the shelling peas, these things are so awesome right now. I don't even wanna cook them. So first of all, I'm just gonna shell them in here. Then we're gonna smash them and marinate them. We're just gonna take the back of a knife and smash them with our hands. All right, so after we beat up the peas, we're gonna go back into this bowl. We're just gonna go right on top with a little bit of the zest. So the zest is a great way to add that lemon flavor without killing your peas. Secondly, we're gonna add a little bit more of our olive oil here, our Meyer lemon olive oil, just a touch, teaspoon. Now we're gonna hit it with some salt and pepper, just like so. So peas, mirepoix, set aside. All right, this is where the fun starts. Make that thing pretty thin. Now for our yellows, the zephyr, such a beautiful squash. Now we're gonna get into this funky little fella. What I like to do with these guys is just cut them into quarters and then we can deal with it a little bit easier. All right, so now we're gonna clean up the board and start arranging here. Kind of color coordinate them a little bit, you know, get all crazy. Move them different ways, this and that. Put a couple here, put a couple there. You can play with your food. You wanna have seasoning directly onto the faces of these guys, because what it's gonna do is the salt and the oil, is really, it's gonna start breaking down that zucchini so it's not just raw. So what we're gonna start with is a little bit of our oil here and just drizzle that on there. Because we do have oil in the other ingredients, so we don't want too much. And be careful with this stage. You wanna just kinda of even out over all of them. Radish and turnip. I'm gonna go a little bit thinner on these guys just to have a bit of different texture. Now we're just gonna place these guys where they fall. Really gets that red that the eye kind of is attracted to. Just blast this guy up with a little bit of pepper. I love spicy arugula. Oh, the smell, peppery, beautiful. And I'm just gonna kinda drizzle that, make it rain arugula. And then we're gonna go on with our, our mirepoix here. You can do this with your hands or you can stick a spoon in there. Go high and just let it fall where it may. I'm going all in. Now we're gonna go on out with our peas. A little hither and tither. Just a little bit of our basil oil. And we're just gonna go just a little bit on there. Just drizzle. And then, of course, some of our beautiful balsamico. But it's gonna give this salad the acidity that it likes and that it wants and deserves. White truffle oil. Just drizzle, not even a teaspoon on there. A little goes a long way, so be super sparing. 
Now to finish our dish, we're gonna go in with just a shave of Parmesan. So here's our final dish. This is a Cosmic Apple Gardens vegetable carpaccio. We've got fresh crushed peas, zucchini, squash, radishes and turnips finished with Parmesan and balsamico.